Hey guys, it's Aceboy here. I'm back at it with another video. And today, Age of War 2 Mobile was just released to the App Store and Google Play. And it's a basically a direct port from the original with quite a few differences, but the same concept is still there. Today, I'm going to be playing Insane for you guys and show you how I play it. So, right off the bat, you get back to the nostalgia of the original. All of the... All the stuff's basically the same, except some of it was reformatted for mobile. There's, um, there's going to be a few balance changes that you'll notice throughout the game, but for now we're starting off um, in the classic route. So what I like to do is I like to upgrade an income and um, both support upgrades once, because I do love using this support. And one noticeable change you'll notice is that... Uh, the meteors come a little later, so you can't really cheese them as easily as you originally were able to. Which is a good thing in my opinion. And um, we're going to see, they'll be coming any minute now. There they are. And what I like to do is I stacked up a bunch of ranged people in my base. It's my padded moon ace strategy. It's probably been used by a, a lot of people. But you know. Um, I'm going to upgrade this gold income early, although it is a little sketchy to do so because I'm basically out of money now. But I know with these anti-armor guys coming up, ranged do critical damage to them, so I should be able to beat them with less of them. Although it is becoming quite close. And um, one thing I want to not do is use the meteors because that's going to put me behind really far against the AI. And, um, we don't want that. So, you can see, they're still in the caveman age, which is good. They do advance, like, way faster than you on Insane, so it's it's very difficult. And there they are. They advanced already. That's, that's crazy. So, we're basically just writing this out. We're pretty close to evolving ourselves. And there we go. We've made it. And, as you can see, here's the first change, um... You have to unlock the anti-armored instead of the armored now, which is interesting. And, um, I know armored do counter these guys, so I'm going to spawn one. And he'll be able to tank for my ranged guys quite a bit, which is good news for me. And, um, with this you can't mindlessly spam like the old one. You have to actually do unit counters every now and then because... The AI is pretty strong now, so you have to play a little more cautious. Um, for example, that gold upgrade I did almost caused me the game, but I was able to pull back from it. And basically, the AI is going to be ahead of you the whole time, so it's going to be very hard to deal with. Um, I personally don't make towers because I don't think um, there's a reason to. They're not all that useful. I'd rather be spamming some more ranged guys. However, there are some strategies that utilize towers as well. I'm not saying they're terrible, I just I personally don't use them as much as the next guy, I guess. And we do have a bunch of anti-armor coming up, and my spearmen will be able, uh, be able to eat those up. It'll be lovely. So we can see all that critical damage doing amazing work. And this is where you'd probably want to buy the anti-armor, but I'm going to try and take through it and uh, not buy the upgrade so I can save my money. Which is probably not the best idea, but that's what I'm going with. And um, so now I have my range spam set up. And let's just hope I can out DPS these armored guys. And they do give quite a bit of money in XP, so it's very good that the AI spam this. We're a little behind because the AI didn't make any assault dinos at us, which is unfortunate. See, they, they are quite ahead of us, but we are pulling away, and pretty soon I'm going to be upgrading their damage again. I don't want to do it too early just in case I get into trouble, because with the next age, you have to unlock the pyros now, instead of um, I believe it was the horse. So yeah, you have to unlock the range now. And that, that was a pretty good balance change. It cost 750 It was really expensive. And I'm going to wait on it a little bit, because my guys are a little too far out to even really be damaging. And there comes their god spell, and now it's time 
to build up money, basically. Um, this is where things start to pick up a little bit, because these pyros are pretty strong. And hopefully soon I can get the damage upgrade for them and make them even stronger. Um, the more horses they make, the better, because that's actually going to benefit us a lot, because they do give a lot of money in XP. Now, things are looking pretty good so far, and you'll notice there are some new animations as well, which is great. And, um, generally, just an overall improvement. I really like them. Uh, you can see the AI just stacking up turrets there. I'm not going to even bother trying to counter them. And you see, that horse gave us a lot of money. I'm going to reset and wait for them to get closer to our base again. But you can see we are tearing them up quite a bit. And I think after I kill these guys, I'll be able to get the next uh, ranged upgrade, actually. Which will be very good for us. And um, our goal is to try and catch up relatively soon, because they're about to evolve again. Like I said, the AI is like always ahead of you until like the very end, it seems. Yeah, see, like, I'm not even close to getting to that age, but there they are, destroying me. Um, we're actually doing quite okay. We have a good amount of money, and we're about to get a lot more with these horses coming in. So, just resetting one more time, and uh, building up here. Now, there's a lot of archers. Those are going to cause some problems, but it shouldn't be too bad. It's actually pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, my pyros are getting a little destroyed, which is unfortunate, but once we reset, we'll be able to out DPS them and evolve to the next age fairly soon. Because we are building up that money again as well, so we can max out our range. That's what I like to do. It's basically the only upgrades I go for are ranged and the gold. And then afterwards, I generally don't upgrade anything else except when I have to unlock God's Wrath which also got a few interesting changes that I'm excited to show you guys when I get there. Now here come the arrows, and I'll wait a sec and then put down some more pyros, but not too many because we're about to evolve again. And we're there. So you can see now you have to unlock the footmen instead of the mages, and you can see from a balance perspective, the reason for this is now is they spam archers in the beginning and the footmen counter them, so that's actually pretty smart. And I'm just going to ignore it and just keep spamming my ranged anyway. But you see now, you want to get the ranged upgrade for these archers because they're going to become pretty strong now. They are just like destroying and it's amazing. Now keep in mind we are very far behind and we're, they're probably about to evolve again on us. But all these griffins, they don't do that much to the archers yet they give so much money and it's amazing. See, we're, we're stacking up quite a bit now, and um, it's looking good. They haven't evolved yet, which is great for us, but we barely just got our god spells, so we are pretty far behind, but that's generally how insane mode was set up. Definitely way harder than the original, by far. I made sure that it became harder, because um, I was just steamrolling in testing, and now it's even a difficult test for me sometimes, which is where I think it's in a good spot. Um, so we see they haven't evolved yet, so I guess they spend a lot more time on this age. And we can actually almost get the next damage upgrade, but I'm going to wait on it a little bit. And actually, I think I'm going to get the next gold, because we're going to make bank off these griffins, and that's going to be great for us. Now you see, they did evolve. We're... We're climbing there. The Griffins are giving us a lot of XP, so these two should bring us to the like three quarters mark, I would think. And we'll be closing in. But that is a lot of ranged. They're going to be probably out DPSing me. That's why I'm, I'm going to try and reset again. But yeah, there we go. Basically three quarters. And now it's time to let out the spam. And we can see that this DPS is becoming quite a bit, actually. These archers, I believe they attack faster than the riflemen. And there go all my archers. That's very unfortunate. But we are about to evolve, so it's not that big of a deal. And one thing you notice is the units aren't getting more expensive with age, so there's no benefit to staying behind. That was a thing that used to be in the, in the first game, I believe. And now there's no benefit to it, you'll just have less damage, which is not what anyone wants. 
and now I can get the next damage upgrade. So now we have 100% damage, and now we are just doing a ton to these guys. It's going to be very hard for them to out-DPS us. But, however, you don't want to get too ahead of yourself yet. You want to still play a little more defensive, because those turrets are just going to eat you up anyway. Like, they are keeping up with us and getting those turrets, so... Um, it's quite intense. Now, this age pretty much was untouched. The cannonballs still need to be researched, or the, the gunpowder, excuse me. And here you can see a little, a little thing. I actually haven't really used this before, but I like it. And all these horses are going to give us so much money and XP, that's actually ridiculous. So the AI is actually playing into our hands right now. And they did evolve to the army age already, so... <laughs> We're in a little bit of a tough spot, but now we can get that ranged upgrade as well. And now we have max income and max riflemen, which is exactly where we want to be. These minigun guys are going to be super strong as well, once we can get them. And what you're going to notice is um, God's Wrath is going to become quite the win condition, because you can see how fast the AI is building up uh, their turrets. It happens the same in the Futuristic Age, so we're going to be in trouble. But yeah, they're just going to melt us, so there's no point in even trying. That God Spell is wasted, which is good for us. And now we just got to play a little more defense. We're on the way to um, coming up, and apparently this infantryman can't be killed, which is interesting. Um, I guess he's just going to stick around. Yeah, just... All right, that's it's pretty weird. Um, <laughs> interesting glitch. Does that happen for the minigun too? No, the minigun guys can take care. Of it. So um, that was a little silly. Um, I believe I did report that, but it's very hard to replicate. But there we go. It'll probably get fixed pretty soon. Um, and now we're starting to make bank, which is good because the God's Wrath is 10,000, so we need to start saving up. These minigun men are going to be super strong, though, and we can even play a little aggressive and push in. But I, th I think we're still going to get mauled by the turrets anyway, and I think they're about to advance as well, which is unfortunate. But yeah, we're actually not doing too bad. We're just not doing too good. Yeah, there's the... There's the futuristic age so I'm gonna wait because they they're just melting me right now yeah that's that's a lot of damage but you got to remember we do a lot of damage too because we maxed out our range so we're, we're in a good spot but just look how much HP those guys have it's insane we're, we're doing good though we're in a good spot And you can see here that they haven't done anything too crazy yet. There comes the Laser of Doom doing 1500 damage to us. Our god spells aren't even that effective on Insane, actually, to the point where it's not worth using if you even have the opportunity. Except for when you're in the Futuristic Age and it's basically free. They don't even at one shot kill these guys, they like leave them at, at half health. So. Definitely not that good as the second game and the first, but you know, they're still pretty strong. And we're about to evolve and get the futuristic age. So here we are. We're gonna have to save up for this bad boy over here. His unlock itself costs a lot of money, so we're, gonna, we're just gonna wait on that and we're just gonna need to stack up money now. Those scientists are gonna melt to our range, which is good. And now we just, now we wait until we get the sufficient funds, because what I've um, basically noticed is um, you need two Gods of Wrath to win. That's your win condition, because the turrets are going to do so much damage to you that you need that. And it, see, we can pop out a laser. It doesn't, it doesn't kill everyone, unfortunately, but it does leave them quite low to where they get finished off anyway. So that's good. That's going to help us get our money. And you can see these guys are going to melt, so I'm not going to keep pushing. 
because it really it does a lot more when 10 people are firing all at once instead of four so it's better to be patient here and um you can see god's wrath freaking epic it is the slowest unit here and it has a lot of hp all right let's stack up some more dudes and we're about to get laser again, which will help us out with getting money. So it's always welcome. But these guys do have a ridiculous amount of HP on Insane, so it is pretty hard. But once you get this little setup going, it's, it just becomes a waiting game, basically. Now, I'm really excited to show you what's been changed to the God's Wrath. He did get a little bit of an interesting buff and change to his mechanic that I'm um, very excited to show you. Now, you can see they're st they stacked up the max turrets already almost. So, yeah, you're, you're going to need those God's Wraths. Um, we can basically do the push now, though. We are almost ready. And what I like to do for my end game push is two god's wraths followed by cyborgs and that's just because they're maxed out basically and i'm gonna drop the laser as well and now we are ready so you can see he does a little splash attack now which is super cool he's more of an area control guy so when you get him to the base he's going to be doing damage no matter what because he's going to be hitting the base and whoever spawns so that way the AI can't just keep spamming units and live forever. Which I think is a great change. And you can see he's just getting destroyed by the turret, which is why you need the second one. And he, he does get to touch the base a little bit, which is good. And he is going to go down. But we do have our minigun guys and our own God's Wrath firing now. And it looks like we're about to take home the game. And there you go. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing a ton of these, um, all sorts of tutorials and special videos, um, all sorts of stuff. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.